After years underground, frogs are popping up across the northwest corner of New South Wales. Hundreds have been spotted hopping in and out of puddles after soaking rain throughout the corner country. Sturt National Park, where South Australia, New South Wales and Queensland all meet, saw 50 mils of rain fall in a day recently. The best rain they've had in years. Ecologist Dr Rebecca West has been out chasing frogs all over the park. Just uh, heading off out for a night of frogging. It's a pretty unusual thing to get to do in the desert. But we've had some rain and so we're going to go and see who we can find. The burrowing or trilling frog spends most of its typically 20-year lifespan underground, only surfacing for a few weeks of their whole life. Here's the uh, burrowing frog or the trilling frog, Neobatraca sudeli. And we've just come up to this pool and oh, it's only about 20 by 20 metres and there's over 100 of these guys all swimming around and sitting up on the edge. The burrowing frog hibernates in a cocoon made of layers of shed skin that retains water. They can stay underground for months or years in between big rainfall events. Water holding frogs store water in their bladder and skin pockets during dry times. There's evidence Aboriginal people use them as a source of water. While there's water on the ground, these frogs will feed, breed and lay eggs. Then they'll burrow deep underground, waiting for the next big rain.